Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss about illustrating simple and compound interest. Our objectives, first, illustrate simple and compound interest and distinguish between simple and compound interest. So, before we discuss about simple on how to compute simple and compound interest, so, kailangan natin mafamiliarize yung iba't ibang terms na ginagamit. So first, lender or creditor, it is a person or institution who invests the money or makes the funds available. So these are lend, uh, lending institution who lets people borrow money or it can be an investor na ginagamit yung pera nila. Borrower or debtor, it's a person or institution who owes the money or avails of the funds from the lender. So sila yung mga tao namang nanghihiram or nangungutang ng pera. Origin or loan date, date on which money is received by the borrower. So, kailan yung effectivity na nanghiram ka ng pera or nangutang ka na pera or nag-start ka mag-invest. Repayment, Date or maturity date, so it is a date on which the money borrowed or loan is to be completely repaid. So, it's it's like a deadline or due date na kung saan, uh, ito yung kung kailan mo dapat matapos yung payment based on the agreement or the contract. Time or term, so it's amount of time in years the money is borrowed or invested. Length of the time between the origin and the maturity date. So, uh, ito yung unang tatanong sa'yo kung ilang taon mo babayaran kapag, for example, nanghiram ka ng pera or ito naman yung taon kung mag -e invest ka. So, kapag nag-invest ka ng pera, mas matag kapag matagal na taon, ibig sabihin, mas malaki yung tutubuin ng pera mo. Pero kapag... Uh, nang hiram ka naman or nangutang ka ng pera, so mas matagal mong babayaran, mas um, malaki yung patong nila dun sa pera na hihiramin mo. Principal or that is amount of money borrowed or invested on the origin date. So the amount of money borrowed or invested. So kung magkano yung unang capital mo na uh, i-invest or magkano yung amount na hihiramin mo. Rate, it's a uh, annual rate usually in percent charged by the lender or rate of increase of the investment. So, it's like in, uh, in percent. no Ito yung uh, tatanong sa'yo kapag uh, nanghiram ka ng pera. So, magkano ba yung uh, interest rate na ipapatong kapag nangutang ka ng pera so or ito naman yung kapag nag-invest ka so magkano yung interest rate kapag nag-invest ka ng ganito okay so halim minsan for example uh, nangutang ka ng 50,000 so in what interest rate so magkano yung ipapatong dun sa inutang mong 50,000 so that is Rate. So, nakikita natin, it usually in percent. Interest. So, pag sinabi natin interest, so that is the amount paid or earned for the use of money or mas sanay tayong tawagin na ito ay tubo kapag uh, nag-invest ka. So, kapag nangutang ka naman, uh, ito naman yung uh, perang ipapatong dun sa perang inutang mo. So, simple interest is the interest that is computed on the principal and then added to it. So, ito yung i-discuss natin ngayon. I-compare natin sila ng compound interest. So, compound interest, interest is computed on the principal and also on the accumulated past interest. At pag sinabi naman natin maturity value or the future value, this is the amount of 30 years that the lender received from the borrower on the maturity date. So, magkano yung makukuha no, ng mga lender dun sa mga umutang? So, after a certain years na napag-usapan nila. 
Or, kapag ikaw naman nag-invest, so ito yung pera mo na after kung ilang taon mo, uh, ilang taon kang nag-invest. Let's say, uh, 10,000 yung in-invest mong pera. So, after 5 years, so 12,000 na yung pera mo. Yung 12,000 yung tinatawag natin maturity or the future value. Alright. So, let's say we have a problem here. Suppose you want 10,000 pesos and you plan to invest it for 5 years. So, a cooperative group offers 2% simple interest rate per year. A bank offers 2% compounded annually. So, which will you choose and why? So, meron tayong dalawang investment. No? And then, try to choose kung ikaw yung nanalo ng 10,000. First, using the simple interest. So, sa unang taon, of course, um, yung starting money mo or the origin money is 10,000 at 2%. So, pag kukumpute natin yung interest o yung itutubo ng pera mo, so that is 10,000, mumultiply lang natin. So, yung 2% dapat converted into decimal. So, 10,000 times 0.2, Y1, so the, uh, it means for one year, no? 10,000 times 0.2 times 1, that is 200. So, ibig sabihin, sa unang taon, ang 10,000 mo ay tutubo ng 200 at 2% interest rate. So, this is, pagkatapos ng isang taon, yung pera mo na ay 10,200. Okay, sa pangalawang taon, so, ganun pa din, mumultiply lang natin, 10,000 times 0.2 times 2, no? Times 2 na. So, magkano na ang tinubo ng pera mo after 2 years. So, 400. So, pagkatapos ng 2 years, so, ang pera mo na ay 10,400. In 3 years, so, so 10,000 times 0.2 times 3, that is equal to 600. So, ibig sabihin, sa pangatlong taon, yung pera mo ay tumubo na ng 600. So, therefore, yung pera mo na ngayon ay 10,600. Pagdating ng apat na taon, no, After 4 years, so magkano na ang tutuin ng pera mo? So, 10,000 times 0.2 times 4, that is 800. So, after 4 years, ang pera mo na ay 10,800. So, kailan ba matatapos yung investment mo? After 5 years. So, after 5 years, so magkano yung tinubo ng pera mo? That is 10,000 times 0.2 times 5, that is 1,000. So, ibig sabihin, after 5 years, From 10,000, yung pera mo na is 11,000. So, tumubo ng 1,000 yung pera mo. Yeah, that is for simple interest. So, paano naman kapag using compound interest? Okay, using compound interest, sa unang taon, okay, same, 10,000 times 0.2 times 1. Okay, tumubo ka ng 200. Tumubo. So, therefore, sa unang taon, 10,200. So, ang kinaibahan ni compound interest dito, yung interest uh, mo na nakukuha, it earns also interest. So, ibig sabihin, sa pangalawang taon, ang principal amount na natin is yung uh, maturity value natin dun sa unang taon. So, since 10,200 na yung pera, yan yung principal amount natin pagdating ng pangalawang taon. So, 10,200 na ngayon. So, 10,200 times 0.02 so anong mangyari magkano ng tubo mo 204 so ibig sabihin pagdating ng pangalawang taon ang pera mo na ay 10,404 so yan na yung pera mo so pagdating naman ng pangatlong taon so yung principal amount mo na na i-computein natin is yung future value dun sa pangalawang taon which is 10,400 So, 10,400 at 10,404 times 0.02. So, the answer is 208.08. So, from 10,404, dadagdagan ng 200.08. So, after 3 years, yung pera mo na ay 10,612.08. So, pagdating naman ng... Apat na taon, so yung principal amount mo na na i-compute natin is 10,612.08 times 0.02. So, that is 212.24. So, ang pera mo na after 4 years is 
824.32. So, pagdating ng 5 years, so, 10,824.32 times 2% or times 0.02, that is equal to 216.49. So, ibig sabihin, pagdating na after 5 years, yung 10,000 mo, yung pera mo na ay 11,000 for 11,040.81 So, magkaiba sila ng simple interest. So, let's compare simple and compound interest. So, sa simple interest, tumubo yung pera mo ng 1,000 using the compound interest uh, tumubo ang pera mo ng ilan? That will be uh, 1,040.81 So, Ibig sabihin, sa simple interest, kapag nag-invest ka, it remains constant throughout the investment term. In compound interest, the interest from the previous year also earns interest. So, thus the interest grows every year. So, kapag uh, nag-invest invest ka, mas maganda na piliin yung compound interest. Kasi habang tumatagal, kung uh, mas matagal, mas malaki yung kikitain ng pera mo. Pero kung ikaw naman ay borrower o ikaw yung nanghiram o nangutang ng pera, masakit para sa iyo kapag compounded yung uh, pag-compute ng interest kasi mas malaki yung patong doon sa pera na uutangin mo o hihiramin mo. So, kung ikaw yung nanalo ng 10,000, so saan ka mag invest Using simple interest ba or using compound interest? So, yan yung i-share nyo sa comment section kung ikaw yung nanalo ng 10,000, ano ang pipiliin mo using the simple interest or the compound interest. So, you can share your answer uh, in our comment section. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.